Hello peeps, I'm Samud and today I'm here with one more of C++ game, a hangman game. So I was just looking at my first semester zip and I just found this game which was like abundant for the last four years and I wrote this code in my first semester and after that I just like didn't revisit that zip again so I didn't knew about it so today after like finding it finding this code I just thought that I should upload it on the YouTube so that it might it might be helpful for some um, <clears throat> some people that are just starting to program or uh, who, who are like uh, new to the computer science or uh, taking their programming fundamentals course so without any further delay, let's just get into uh, the actual programming code so first I'll, I'll just run the program so to, to uh, show you the overall flow of the program so let me execute the game okay so the first screen is the instruction screen now what actually is a hangman game Okay, rule of the game. It says that you can enter a word of four letters, right? That then tell your friend to guess that word. They have to enter that word letter by letter. If they enter any letter wrong, one part of the body will be removed. So there will be a man with a head, uh, tummy, and legs. And the overall game is divided into four letters. So you have to like. Uh, enter a four letter word and then ask your friend to guess that word and for each letter one part of the body will be removed so uh, as the body is divided into four parts so you basically you are be you will be having four uh, number of tries so if if you uh, guess the first letter wrong so the, for the first letter head is gone for the second try the tummy will go for the third uh, try the right leg and for the fourth try the left leg uh, I guess I have written a little bit wrong over here I have divided the things uh, on letter base but no in actual program it's not like based on letters it's, it, is, it is based on number of tries right so then it says if you have understood the instruction press 1 to play or any other number to repeat the instruction so I'll just uh, enter 1 and get into the game okay so it says type four letter letters word without showing it to anyone right so let me just write s a m e right so you have to hide from your friends now so the game is begins and so the game begins here <clears throat> now you have to enter the first letter of the word right and on an every wrong entry of the letter one part of the body will just uh, <clears throat> get removed so this is what actually a man is and this is his head this portion is his tummy and these two are his legs left and right legs and then we have four tries so let me let's just enter the correct letter the first letter correctly so let's say it's S. Now it says enter the second letter, right? So let me enter the wrong letter. Let's say Q. Now you see, number of tries reduced by one and the head is removed from the body. Now let me enter the second letter again wrong. Let's say D. Now the tummy removed, number of tries reduced by one. So we remain with we remain with <clears throat> two so we okay so now let me just give or enter the correct letter it's a right now again let me enter the two incorrect letters so yeah you fail the game says you fail now let me again uh, start start the game from the start and uh, enter all the letters correctly uh, so let's say again it's the same and the first one is s 
the second one is A, the third one is M, the fourth one is E and see you won. So this is the actual uh, flow of the hangman game. Yeah, it's a very basic game, nothing much into it, but being a, a beginner, you can say it's like something very bigger. Let me show you the code in WordPad, I guess. Okay, so from here it starts. These are all the basic libraries. Then using namespace, yeah, you will be aware of the basic structure of the C++ program. So then what I did here is that I divided the man into four parts, the head, the tummy, the left leg and the right leg. And I've done nothing uh, like uh, and it, like there is nothing difficult into it. I've just see out the head. Then I printed the like C out is used as a, as a print function. So here is the head function in which I have like printed the head, then the tummy, then the left leg, and then the right leg. The function display is the first screen that that shows you the instruction, right? And then again, uh, when you enter one. It just clears the screen and it just uh, prints all the body parts. And if you enter any other uh, letter on the first on the first uh, screen, so, uh, I'm talking about the first screen. So if you enter any other number other than one, it's going to like clear the screen and go to again. Again, it's again the display function, so it will show you all the instruction again. But when we enter the one, it just gets into the main method uh, and just get out of the display method all right so this is the main function first i have like declared a, 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 an array of a name which takes all the input from the user uh, and, and and then the first name that you enter or the four letter words that you enter that you are supposed to hide from the friend is stored into name into this array then okay so then we have number of tries which is four and in remaining tries function I'm just uh, like displaying or printing the number of tries which was like shown into the uh, right top corner right then corrector ABC takes all the uh, uh, one by one inputs for first letter for the second letter the third letter and the fourth letter right now the actual logic begins here which is a while loop and it shares that until a is not equal to name zero name zero is the actual uh, word and a is the one that your that your friend or any uh, other person will guess right if it's not equal and if number of tries are greater than zero till then the while loop will continue to execute so it, it, it says that enter the first letter and then it asks it takes input in the uh, the first letter in a and then here here is the total all logic it says if the first letter entered by the user is not equal to the one that you enter right clear the screen reduce the number of tries print the, the the new value of number of tries and then I've used a switch case which checks for the five cases either the number of tries will be four either three two one or zero so let's say if the number of tries are four then print the head tummy left right leg if it's three remove the, the head and just print tummy left and right if it's two remove the left leg and uh, uh, if it's two, remove the tummy. If it's one, remove the left leg, right? Just print the left uh, left leg. And if it's zero, just print that you have failed it, right? So this is the basic uh, logic used in this program. And the same is repeated for the second letter, B, where the index number of array is one. Then the same is used for the C with the index numbers 2 and same for the fourth letter D where the 
actual words index number is three <coughs> sorry so this is the overall uh, code of the program and this is the basic program right uh, let me run it one more time. Let's say as a M E Sam, and uh, let me just enter all the values incorrectly. All right. So, uh, if you guys want the code of this program, just put your email ID on, into the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe for some more programs and more projects. Until then, bye bye.